students welcome to me the study and welcome to my class today we are going to discuss relation that is how to find the equivalent mass and atomic mass clear to you now suppose in my last lecture i have discussed how to find the equivalent mass of acid base and salt today that is suppose if anyone ask you how to find the equivalent mass of an iron yes sir that is the case equivalent mass of an iron that will be equal to formula mass upon charge on iron again i am repeating suppose if i consider sulfate ion so4 2 minus ion in this case they, if they ask uh, to find the equivalent mass of sulfate ion that will be the formula will be equal to equivalent mass uh, it will be equal to sulfate that is 32 into 4 into 16 plus 2 that is formula mass that is 96 Uh, 64 and 32, 96 upon charge on iron. That is 2. This is the case. Okay. Now next one. If atomic mass given, so the relation is equivalent atomic mass. Atomic mass is equal to and multiply equivalent mass. Clear uh, atomic mass of any solid metal such as n is equal to valency. Again, I am repeating valency into equivalent mass. Again, I am repeating that is exact atomic mass. If anyone ask you how to find the exact at atomic mass, that will be equal to valency multiply equivalent mass. So valency we can say valency is equal to approximate approximate atomic mass upon equivalent mass is it clear yes now what is the, uh, uh, the why why did we uh, consider approximate atomic mass and exact atomic mass yes we have dulong's and petit's law according to this law approximate wait for a moment approximate atomic mass will be uh, into a specific heat is equal to 6.4 this is the formula approximate atomic mass into a specific heat is equal to 6.4 or you can say that is approximate atomic mass approximate approximate atomic mass will be equal to 6.4 divided by a specific heat by using this method you can find the approximate atomic mass then finally you can get the exact atomic mass these are the method to relate equivalent mass with atomic mass or these are the method to find the atomic mass of a solid of a metal now there is a next one is kanizaru's method kanizaru's method that is if i consider ch4 c2h6 or any hydrocarbon the lower mass of uh, suppose we, uh, we have to find uh, predict the atomic mass of carbon the lower the value which we get from these all compound will be the that is atomic mass of the um, particular atom or particular Uh, uh, substance clear to you this uh, this can be done by using kanizaru method then then we have the next method double displacement method yes i have discussed discussed this thing during my regular lecture also double displacement method then law of isomorphism law of isomorphism yes suppose law of isomorphism what it uh, means uh, that mean to say two crystal having sa same composition suppose if i write k2so4 and k2cro4 they are isomorphous look k2 times k2 times 
and O4 times O. These are isomers. By using this method, we can also find the atomic mass of any. So these are the few method uh, which can be used to, to relate atomic mass as well as equivalent mass as well as to find the equivalent mass. Now next one, next a very uh, uh, suppose uh, we have to find the equivalent mass of an element which is in oxide. Suppose we have the, uh, the oxide having formula MO2 or M2O3 or MO. In this case, how to find the equivalent mass of the particular metal clear or the particular atom. In this case, the very simple method that is oxide formation method. How to find the equivalent mass? Clear? I am moving here. Suppose the oxide has formula uh, mass. Let the mass of oxide is equal to x. Clear? Yes and the mass of element present in the oxide is equal to y. Then how to find the equivalent mass of the element? Yes, equivalent mass of the element in this case. Equivalent mass of the element will be uh, in this case that will be equal to mass of the element y upon mass of the oxygen. Mass of the oxygen will be x minus y multiply by 8. Again, I am repeating equivalent mass of the element uh, equal to mass of the element present in the oxide upon um, mass of oxygen multiply uh, by 8. Now, the next one is chloride formation method. By using this method, we can also find the uh, equivalent mass of an element. Suppose we have uh, the formula of a uh, compound having, uh, uh, sorry, suppose we have the, uh, we have a compound having formula MCLX. This is a chloride. In this case, uh, the mass of chloride is given that is X suppose. Mass of element is given Y then how to find the equivalent mass of the metal or equivalent mass of the element. Equivalent mass of the metal or the element M will be equal to mass of the element Y upon mass of chlorine that is Y minus X, ma uh, pardon, X minus Y multiply by 35.5. These are the uh, method to find the equivalent mass of an event. Again, the next one, hydrogen displacement method. In this case, what to do? Multiply by 1.008. So, by using this formula, you can easily find the equivalent mass or relate the equivalent mass and atomic mass of any substance. I hope so. These are very much clear to you. Practice it. Uh, I have taken two classes to discuss the equivalent mass. The thing is you have to utilize this formula while, uh, while solving the numerical and competitive examination. Clear? Now, this is the end of, uh, of this, is, this is the this is the end of today's lecture. In my next lecture, I will discuss few more interesting things. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you so much.